If you ever wanted to learn how to metal stamp, today is the day. Hi, my name is Rita, and I'm gonna teach you today how to make an adjustable metal stamped ring. This was one of the first projects I did when I started metal stamping around 15 or so years ago. For today's project, you're gonna need the Impressart Ergo Angle Hammer, which is specifically designed for metal stamping, your ring bending plier, a steel bench block, a brass 12 gauge ring blank, an Impressart letter set, a Sharpie to mark your center, a black Impress Art enamel marker to color in your impression, your stamp straight tape, a texture hammer with a ball peen head, a scissor to cut your tape, and a household dry paper towel to wipe your enamel. Let's get started and let me show you how to make this project. Our first step is to take a piece of our stamp straight tape and give it a little snip. You're going to place your tape along the bottom of your bracelet blank. I've pulled out my three millimeter bridget lowercase set from the case and place them on the left side of my work table. I am right-handed, so my hammer is always on my right side. My letter set is always on my left side. You're going to hold your stamps with your non-dominant hand. When you're stamping with Impress Art products, you're always going to make sure that the Impress Art is facing you when you're metal stamping. Place your stamp flat on your ring blank and lightly drag it down to the tape to line up your first letter. When you feel that you're secure and your hand is secure on your block, you're going to push your stamp down into the metal Pick up your hammer and give it a nice forceful hit. And then pull it away. And you have your first impression. Then I'm gonna continue. Placing my stamp flat, dragging it down, feeling that sticker. Firmly, my hand is placed on the block, taking my hammer, a nice forceful hit. The next step is using my ball peen hammer. I'm going to remove the tape from my ring, place it down on my block, place two fingers where I feel comfortable, pick up my ball peen hammer and begin to texture around the impressions I just stamped. I'm gonna turn it around, put my two fingers against it, and continue to texture on the opposite side of the bracelet. So the metal that you're stamping on is a 12 gauge brass piece. It is already hard in nature. So basically what I'm doing with my ball peen hammer is just texturing the front parts of the inside, along with the smile on the inside as well. When you finish ball peening, you're just going to turn your ring around and make sure that you have nice and even texture on both sides of your ring. Our next step is enameling. This is a water-based acrylic marker. You're going to open your marker and run it right over the impressions that you stamped. Give it a good one to two seconds 
Then you're going to take a dry household paper towel, lightly dab, and then give it a nice wipe. The enamel fills in your impression and has your word pop right off of that metal. Our next step is bending. You're gonna use the ring bending pliers and we're gonna start right in the center. Following the curvature of your bracelet, you're going to put them right inside your jaws. You're gonna give a really nice even squeeze to your plier and it's going to bend it in the middle, forming it into a ring. Once you've gotten one side done, you're going to take your finger, still really holding on it with a tight grip for your pliers, and bring the other side of your metal up. Then you're going to start at the end and bring the curvature back through to the other side of the ring. I always like to go around twice. It doesn't hurt to form the ring a little bit more. So you're gonna follow all the way through, flip your ring over, give it a couple of more squeezes, and there you have it. What's great about this ring is that it is adjustable. No mandrel needed, just your jewelry, pliers, and the force of your fingers to make it smaller. So this message is a hidden message ring, and the smile is on the inside of the ring. You could also put it on the outside if you'd like. Let's go over the tools and supplies to use to make this project. You're gonna use your ImpressArt Ergo Angle Hammer that is designed specifically for metal stamping, your three millimeter Bridget letter set, your stamp enamel marker, your 12 gauge brass ring blank, a steel block, your ring bending plier, your stamp straight tape, and your multi-function hammer with your ball peen head. And last, a household paper towel. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Tools and supplies are in the description below. Thank you so much for having me.